Ahead of their NCIS spin-off, Michael Weatherly and Cote de Pablo reunite with an original franchise actor, Sasha Alexander. After more than two decades on the air, NCIS is showing no signs of slowing down. Aside from the controversial cancellation of NCIS, Hawaii, the universe as a whole is still going strong, with a couple of spin-offs on the way. That includes a reunion project with Michael Weatherly and Cote de Pablo as they reprise their roles as Tony Dinozo and Ziva David and NCIS, Tony and Ziva Offshoot, which will stream on Paramount Plus instead of airing on CBS. Before their small screen return, however, Weatherly and De Pablo host an NCIS rewatch podcast, which recently guest starred Alexander. Check out their adorable reunion images from Alexander's Instagram below. The photos were taken during Alexander's recent appearance on the newly launched NCIS rewatch podcast. Titled Off Duty, an NCIS rewatch on Spotify, the new endeavor sees Weatherly and De Pablo talk to various people who were once or are still involved in the franchise. Can Alexander's Kate Todd still appear in the NCIS universe? Todd was killed by Ziva David's half-brother. It has been almost two decades since Kate Todd was unexpectedly killed in the NCIS season 2 finale. The events of the CBS police procedural were kicked off by her arrival at the agency. She was expected to stay with the major case response team for a while, so it was truly shocking when she was brutally murdered. Her death was recently re-examined during NCIS 1000th episode. Despite hopes that Alexander would return to film new scenes despite her character's death, the show only used archival footage. That said, it doesn't mean that a comeback is off the table. NCIS has already set a precedent in terms of bringing her back after Kate's death. On the heels of Ari's brutal murder of her 19 years ago, Alexander returned for the first two episodes of season 3 as the team grappled with the unexpected loss of her. Instead of flashbacks, her scenes were projections of her. This was major proof of her dramaless exit from the police procedural, which hasn't always been the case in terms of these long-running shows. Beyond that, Alexander can reprise Kate as a hallucination in case NCIS season 22 attempts to bring her back. Besides reprising Kate in the show, NCIS can also tap Alexander to be involved in other ways. For starters, she could helm one of the upcoming episodes of NCIS, Tony and Ziva. Alexander previously directed an episode of Weatherly's Bull, and she clearly has a great relationship with De Pablo, so it shouldn't be an issue to pull this off.